Hi everybody, my name is Jeremy and I'm here to talk to you today about Audio Damage EOS 2, a reverb from Audio Damage. EOS is one of Audio Damage's most popular products. It was first released in 2009 and EOS 2 is a top to bottom rebuild. It is identical on iOS, Windows, Mac OS, M1 and Intel, and Linux. The algorithms were actually commissioned from Valhalla DSP, which you may know as one of the premier makers of all types of reverbs and other plugins. EOS is older than Valhalla DSP, as Sean actually hadn't started the company yet. So this is pre-Valhalla Valhalla tech in a good way. When they commissioned this from Valhalla DSP in the design brief, they requested the sort of reverb that Eno would use on the records he did with Harold Budd. And this is what Sean made for them. It's very, very good for synth pads, piano, legato sounds. It's very thick and chorusy, but as we'll see today, it's good on all kinds of sounds. We're going to be putting EOS 2 through all kinds of paces today, but first I just want you to get a little comfortable with how it sounds on a pretty basic sound. So we have this line from Continua here. You can hear it's very, very mono. Pretty simple two filter sound. Let's bring in EOS. Immediately, we can hear the stereoization of the sound in a good way. We can actually bring this down a bit. So let's go through the controls. Decay. Mix. Pre-delay. Which can be dialed in. Timed events, diffusion, reverb size, mod will give your sound a bit more of a lush chorusing reverb when you use it. Finally, we have an EQ over here, we can cut our highs. Which is very useful. Can multiply the high EQ. Here's our crossover for the high EQ, and then we have the same for the lows. There are four algorithms. We already heard mono plate and stereo plate. There's stereo plate too. And my personal favorite, Super Hall. Just very big and stereo. We also have this wonderful infinite button right here. Which you should be careful with. We'll hear that put to good use in just a smidge. So now that we have a sense of the controls of EOS, let's move on to some applications. Here's a drumline I programmed using a bunch of very mono, old school ER1 samples. I'm using three instances of EOS. The first one's sort of a dark plate, second one is a long space, and the third one is a dark short one. What we're gonna do is we're gonna bring these in one at a time and you're gonna hear how they affect the sound and how this sort of mono sound is gonna gain all kinds of wonderful space. Let's start with the long space. That's the second one right here, super hall mode. Let's move on to the dark plate. That's on our snare. That's this top one right here. And finally, we'll bring in the dark short, which is on the toms. You can hear that we have a big pre-delay on that third one, which is giving us a nice sort of almost echo. I'm gonna turn them all off again and then bring them all in. 
Oh yeah, you miss it, don't you? Don't lose any of the punch of the drums. They're all still very punchy, but we get a wonderful space. Let's bring them back in. I can say with certainty that uh, if your sounds are sounding a little stale, a little too in the middle of things, a little too just dry, you probably need some reverb. You can use it in all kinds of ways. Even just a little taste of it really brings things to life. Let's check it out on a bass sound. Remember what I said about making things a little bit more stereo, a little bit more interesting? This bass isn't bad, but we can make it better. Let's bring in EOS. Immediately has more vibe. You can see that we're using a ton of low cut, so we're not really reverberating the lows. The bass still remains clean, but we get a fantastic little top end vibe. Let's see how EOS can affect this atmospheric, but extremely dry effect. Completely mono. That thing should be stereo as heck. Well, in super hall mode with a pretty big decay, we can make that happen. Notice I have the high cut all the way up. This is just going to make a brilliant wash of this. Before. Oh, there it is. That's what that sound's supposed to sound like. The final instrument in this little loop that we're working with is a synth organ sound. Again. Dry as heck. Let's go ahead and fix that. That's so much better. No EOS. With EOS. In this next demo, we'll be working with a more four on the floor kind of beat. We got a pumping bass line. We got some choral chords and a little bell lead. We'll also be showing off the freeze part of this. But first, let's add some vibe to this bass. Again, super, super, super mono. Good growl, though. Let's bring in EOS. Now it has that little halo. Little stereo halo. It's wonderful. Before. After. I love it. Let's take these choral chords, which are currently very, very mono, and give them the stereoness that they deserve. Before, after. Much better. Next up is our little bell friend. Same deal, but we're going to show off the freeze function here, which I really, really love. Boring. Much better. Let's bring in the infinite. Very interesting.
stupendous. In this section, we're going to be adding vibe to loops that already have some reverb on them. Maybe you have a little bit of vibe, but we're going to increase the vibe. I know you like vibe, so let's make more vibe for you. That's what I'm here for. This is a vibe check. Let's start with guitar. It's all right, but it could be better. That's beautiful. Let's bring in some bass. This vocal right here, temple vocal, we're going to bring that in next. I have formant shifted and pitch shifted this. And what I like to do is take something like this and make it 100% wet. So let's go ahead and do that now. That's so much better. How about our vocals? They're not bad, but I think we can give them a bit more vibe. Let's match them up with the rest of the stuff. Now that's vibe. But he said we bring in our drums and get a sense of what's going on here. Okay? I like that. Let's bring in this guitar in a second, okay? One of my favorite things to do is put a big lush reverb after a distorted guitar. And that's exactly what we're gonna do here. That's perfect. All right, let's bring it all back in. For our last little demo, we're going to listen to what happens when we place this on a more sort of alternative arrangement. And we're going to start with the drums. We have this multi-rod kit, which doesn't sound terrible, but I really wanted the snare to have a bit more vibe and the hi-hat. Let's bring that in, shall we? That's so much better some bullet the blue sky shit right there oh that sucks bring that eos back please much better the next thing in this group is a collection of sort of ambient instruments uh, that creates the bed for this part so let's take a listen to them and then we'll bring in eos All right, here we go. Listen to that halo, that's beautiful. Finally, we're gonna bring in some guitar. Bring it in and then bring in EOS. It's not bad, but we could use a bit more vibe. There we go. I love it.
Thank you for watching this video on EOS 2. I hope you've enjoyed the sounds that we had today, and I hope that you enjoy your copy of EOS 2. I know you're going to get one. My name is Jeremy. This has been uh, EOS 2 for Audio Damage, and I hope you have a wonderful day.